Welcome back to another Climb product walkthrough. I'm Lucas Eddy, and today we're gonna to be looking at the newly redesigned women's altitude touring set. This is the jacket and pant. These are in their fourth generation. You can compare it to the latitude jacket and pant on the men's side. This is our top level women's touring setup right here. Waterproof performance here with Gore-Tex. Everything else is set up for really comfortable days on the bike for a long time. Long touring rides, long street rides with your friends, summer, winter, doesn't really matter. The key thing here on this redesign is we improve the fit, the comfort, the adjustment, and the ventilation on this jacket and pants. So let's check this out, how it all works. Up at the top here, we have a new, more comfortable collar lining. You can see that leather material right up there at the top. And then this cinch right here at the collar is also a little bit better for the ladies because you're not gonna get your hair caught in there as easily as the previous generation. So that was a complaint that we heard from riders and we addressed it with this fix here. Further down in the collar, when it gets hot, you can open up this tab here. It's called the collar tab back feature. There are two elastic cords on the inside of that collar, pull them back and attach them to some hooks on the shoulders and it holds that jacket open, gets some more airflow there uh, when the going gets hot. But let's keep moving here at the top. You can see there's some reflective hits up here at the shoulders and then other places around the jacket and the pants. This is great for uh, wet weather when it's rainy, foggy, dark outside, get some little added safety in there. Um, but let's keep moving through here. We talked about the ventilation here at the collar. The rest of the vents on this jacket perform exceptionally well. Maybe Sky, you can talk about that, how these work here with the cross core vents, the back vents and the leg vents. Sure. This jacket was designed to be gravity friendly for the ladies. So you've got cross core vents under the chest here. So as weather is warming up, you get plenty of airflow through the jacket. We also included a double headed zipper in the wrist, similar to what you find on the Carlsbad jacket. So you can get that open, get some airflow through the cuff on those hot days. Yeah, exactly. So that's something we improved here with the altitude jacket here, the vents here, uh, improving those wrist vents to be a lot more airflow friendly for the hot weather. And then if you want to turn around here, Sky, we have some vents on the back as well, and then exhaust vents on the back of the leg also. So through the whole body, the torso, the arms, the legs, we have ventilation flowing through there for the hotter days. Zip those up when it gets rainy, when it gets chilly. So let's keep moving here. While we're on the outside of the jacket, let's talk about protection. We have 600 denier Cordura up here on the shoulders, the uh, knees and the butt there, all the slide areas where if you fall off your bike, you're likely to get some abrasion there. We beef those up with that 600 denier material. Then in the elbows, we have this perforated leather material. So you get a bit more airflow, sorry, a bit more breathability through those perforations there through that Gore-Tex. And then of course, leather provides some great abrasion protection. So while we're on the topic of abrasion protection, you'll notice this is a CEA rated garment. Typically we see these being CEAA rated. And this is because if you turn around, we have some added stretch material here in the back of the shoulder. That's in the underarms, the side, the back of the shoulder, and in the pants in some certain areas. So we did this consciously to reduce bulk, improve mobility, give you a little bit lighter, better fit, knowing that we might see a reduction in on paper abrasion protection. Now, the key areas, shoulders, elbows, knees, all those areas are still beefed up like we normally have them. So just keep that in mind when you're looking at the CEA ratings. Like I mentioned, we improved the fit and adjustment on this jacket too. So fit means we changed how everything is stitched together, how all those panels come together, the shape of all those stitched pieces when they come together. We also improved the adjustment capabilities of this jacket. You'll see here forearm and bicep adjustment straps, Velcro at the cuff, a full waist circumference strap here. And what that means is it's not stitched into the jacket. That strap goes all the way around. So when you cinch it up, it gives you a nice uniform kind of adjustment there. And then at the hips also, we have some adjustment zippers there if you want to show those, Sky. And we have this same setup down here at the legs and the knees. You'll see we have leather inside the pants there. We have those reflective hits, we have adjusters, and we have this gray stretch material there. So the, the pant legs are set up very similarly to how the rest of the body is. So moving back up to the top of the jacket here, let's go through the pockets really quick. We have two zippered hand pockets there where you're used to having them. Really easy to throw your wallet and keys and whatever else in there. We also have a stack card pocket here on the left arm and it's got an internationally recognized medical information symbol there. So EMTs, EMS, medical services are trained to look for that. And if you want to put your uh, medical information card in there, you can do that um, to kind of give them some more information in the event of an accident. Um, in the legs, we also have a pocket there, a zip pocket that's pretty easy to access. And then moving to the inside of the jacket, we also have some pockets in there. There's a zipper pocket on the upper left chest and then another pocket down on the lower right hand area. On the outer hand pocket here on the right side, there's a small built-in organizer pouch inside the pocket. So you can put small stuff like chapstick, lipstick, keys, whatever is small, you can actually separate it from the rest of the pocket there, which is pretty handy. 
And one last thing on the pockets on the inside of the jacket, there's also a hidden document pocket like for your passport. If you're traveling, you can keep it hidden inside the jacket. We won't tell you where it is, buy one and see if you can find that pocket because if we told you, we'd tell everybody where it is. So you'll find it, it's in there somewhere. And then one last thing to note on this setup here on sizing, uh, make sure you check the size chart or try it on a dealership. Uh, make sure you get the right size for you. Um, customer service is also happy to help with answering those questions. And that about sums it up for the newly redesigned Altitude jacket and pant. If you guys have any questions, hit us up in the comments. Find us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, all the social medias. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.